Hello everybody and welcome to Warrior Friday. Oh, we made it through another week. At least I think we did. Um, I'm not pulling a card today because my guides gave me this amazing topic to talk about. So you get to listen to me. Um, a friend of mine had, well, he's had two heart attacks in the last two weeks and he's only 49 and he's very healthy and exercises like every day. And, you know, it just goes to show you that it doesn't matter how in shape you are. Um, but I wanted to share this story with you because I think it's really important. Um, plus it's what they gave me to talk about. Um, sometimes in our lives, we need a reboot. And um, just like a computer or a phone or any kind of electronic thing, we need to go back to the factory settings or we need to just to reboot and we need to get all the gunk out. And so I talked to this friend of mine last night on the phone <clears throat> and I asked him how he was doing because he had, he doesn't watch my videos so I, I can talk about him. Um, <laughs> He, he had a massive heart attack, you know, it, they call it the widow maker, um, but he's still here. And I said, how are you doing? And he said, I feel really good. And I said, no, no BS, right? And he goes, no, I feel so much better. And I meditated on it this morning. And what I got was sometimes we need a reboot. And so that was his body's way or his soul's way, his higher self's way of going, okay, you've been on the fence, you're, you've lost faith, you've lost your way, you're lost, literally lost, he's been lost, um, and you need a reboot. And when I talked to him, it was like, it was a whole different version of him. This, he felt brighter and shinier. And yeah, he is better because something left. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain it, but he got a reboot. Althea is walking around. Um, so sometimes we need that reboot. And sometimes it's in the form of a physical disorder with our bodies. Sometimes it's the loss of a partner, a child, a loved one. Um, I had a big reboot when my son Alex left. And it's to remind us who we are and what we are. We are very powerful and we are connected to all, to everything. We're connected to the earth and the trees and the animals and the plants and the sky and the sun and the moon and each other. We are connected. And sometimes we get so lost that we forget that and we need a reboot. So if you're going through something, I feel like the collective is being rebooted right now, okay? There's this huge thing going on in our, not just our society, not just in our country, but in the whole world that this is, we're in the process of this giant reboot. So my friend's heart attack was just like a microcosm of the whole world. And it's me, it's you, it's all of us. We're going through this reboot. And sometimes we need to be rebooted more than once. Some, some of us have had to be rebooted a whole bunch of times because it helps us level up. We do not learn in times of comfort. We learn in times of strife, of reboots, right? I learned so much when my son left that whole year afterwards. It was like a hundred college courses crammed into one all at the same time. Um, so whatever you're going through, first of all, you're going to make it if you want to make it. Okay. We always have a choice. My friend had a choice because I asked him, do you want to live or die? The After the first one, he's like, yeah, I don't know. But now after the second one, he goes, no, I know I'm supposed to be here. I said, yeah, there's a plan for you. If you, if you weren't taken out yet, there's a plan for you. Your higher self said, no, no, he said he wants to live. So if we want to live, 
we can. If we want to go, we can do that as well. But if we're going to live, we need to live, not just exist, not just survive. We need to live. We need to give to others. We need to be in service, not to self, but to the all. There's so much joy that can come from that and fulfillment. It's, it's overwhelming sometimes how beautiful it can be. You know, you give a little something to somebody and it doesn't have to be a thing. It could be a smile. It could be a hug. And you just saved that person's life and you didn't even know it. But how cool is that? And when we do things like that with no expectation of return for ourselves, we actually get a return from somewhere else and it's 10 times what we gave. And so sometimes we need this reboot to remind us that we are all connected. I am connected to you. I don't even know who's watching this video and you could be watching this video, you know, way down the road. But something I say triggers you and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm, that's what I needed to hear. That was my affirmation. I'm going to change my life now. Sweet. That's what we all need to be doing right now is helping each other. Not just survive, not just live, but to live. To have that fulfillment. Um, to set ourselves on our, on our soul journey, not just our life path, but our soul journey. Like, what does that mean? It's coming out in different people in different ways right now. You know, people wanting to set up healing centers, people wanting to do healings through music, um, through words, through massage, through whatever it is that you do. I love how the light is doing that. Um, or maybe it's me. <laughs> um, but whatever it is that is right down deep inside of you that is screaming and crying to get out, that's what you need to do, okay? As long as it is for the highest and greatest good of you and the all, go for it. Because if it is for the highest and greatest good of all, the universe is going to basically put everything in your path so that you can accomplish that. It's a really cool system once you jump out of the matrix and get into this new system of, of allowing and receiving. It's very beautiful. So I'm sure you've been rebooted. We've all been rebooted in one way or another. Um, but it's time to let out whatever is inside of you that's part of your soul journey. Okay? That's my message for today. I love you guys. I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because I know you're worthy. I know you deserve it. So soak it up, let it overflow your heart, and then pass it on to somebody else. Namaste.